so this is my baby girl. A little history for those of you that didn't know. Um, I bought her in a little auction um, and she had been used as an office for years. She was actually originally built in 1965 or around thereabouts and constructed in Texas. So anyway, with that in mind, um, back in the days they built them kind of like container home on wheels. They're very sturdy and that's what made me fall in love with her. She has literal two by fours inside and real insulation and underneath with just like sturdy, super sturdy. And over the years, since different people have gotten her, been using her, she's been pretty well taken care of. So, um, but anyway, you'll see that in the video of what she was and how she came to be home. I am on this property now three and a half years and very comfortable, no plans to leave, but I've always been a little bit leery about creating a permanent skirting because it's just one more thing to take off if you have to go. So I decided to make something like a natural skirting and the friend gave me these um, pine cone ginger is what I call it. I'm sure it has like a more real scientific name. So these are definitely not there three and a half years ago, but every summer they come back, they come back thicker. In the winter, I've been using um, these ferns over here as kind of like my natural skirting. And it just, I don't know, it just creates a little less um, countryness about the front of my home. But you see, the paint is still holding up very well. People are still like, is that pink or red? So I guess she is fading a little bit. But because I have so much tree coverage, it hasn't faded a lot. So that's the outside on this side. I've added steps um, to... You know the back door which i hardly ever use but when i do use it it is nice to have that and coming to the front i've redone the awning recently um i'll link that video below too of the original awning but all i did same style using the flagpole holders i just used uh, this time a tablecloth that is checkered because i couldn't find a striped one but still keeping with that look i don't know kind of like a little 90 1950s uh, soda jerk kind of look is I don't know. That's what I saw when I first saw her. I've added my little gardens, my little palette uh, outdoor garden. If you guys would like to see a video of that, I don't actually have one. There's an idea. Um, the little, you know, a tiny palette somebody gave me because I know I'm always collecting palettes. And um, I used that. This is all signed. I did some relief work and some friends signed that. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Here is a more uh, current garden. This is my favorite little balm that I actually nursed back to health from Lowe's. I think it was like $1.50. Etc. 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 So, um, let me see. Let me see. What else do we have? Recently put rocks in this so I would get less weeds. My little garden up front. The aloe is doing very well. It blooms once a year. I add a picture of that my oregano so the front of um, peppermint patty has pretty much remained the same but just with the little rocks to make the garden a little more you know and I want to keep the tongue accessible like I said I'm not haven't gone anywhere I don't plan to go anywhere but I might <laughs> you never know can't say I won't there's a little porch and that's a there's a video of that of course that's more recent the bar area has not been used much the bonfire pit area also not used much during the time of COVID and the jacuzzi slash uh, sauna area you know my spa area the big screen I also haven't been using that much anyway so that's the outside of peppermint patty as she stands you see that the actual structure hasn't changed much um, even the porch isn't exactly attached just a bunch of pallets I don't know if I'll even bother taking them if I ever do go so that's the outside and um, once again look at the video and the link to see how it's changed just a little update to see um, any of you guys that are doing homes oh one thing I did learn that at least once a year really truly tr twice a year I do kind of like a pressure wash on her because you see this we're in Florida so everything is super humid oh gosh and there's always stuff trying to grow in your stuff so um, we a little bleach and water is what I use personally and it hasn't hurt it um, and a lot of places I have to scrub it a little bit I put more attention on the front of course because that's what people see <laughs> and um, that's that so actually you know what this is going kind of long I think I'm gonna do a two-parter for this so this is uh, the outside of a uh, peppermint patty as she stands and uh, stay tuned for the inside tour Ooh.